Okay, I'm here with Ed Gill, Circuit Happy. We talked to you last year at NobCon, um, but you've done some updates to your product. Yeah, so last year at, at uh, NobCon was my, my debut for, well, my company and The Missing Link, my, my first product. And uh, in the first couple of months, I had a lot of great response and a lot of amazing people that uh, gave me great feedback and had feature requests. And then some of my customers became amazing beta testers. And so I, I rolled out a couple of new features over the, you know, the first couple of months. The, the missing link is an analog and USB MIDI clock generator, but what makes it special is it has Ableton Link integration and Wi-Fi connectivity. And what that means is over a Wi-Fi network, it will synchronize with any device that supports Ableton Link. That's pretty much every iOS music app. That's Ableton Live, of course, uh, Bitwig Studio, Reason, 10 and 11, uh, all the DJ software, Tracker, Serato. Uh, so you can now you can bring a modular synth and jam with uh, DJ software, or you can not run long patch cables between setups. Uh, like I have a, a very simple, uh, smaller setup here, but you normally, you know, in this size setup, you'd only need one of these to sync both. But imagine there's a big space between them. You don't have to run cables, and just over Wi-Fi, I can start my modular going, and then when I hit play on here, it's gonna wait for the downbeat and start my drum machine. And over Wi-Fi, they are now synchronized, and I can bring the tempo up, and they go together, and we can add a little iOS music into here as well. And everything is synced over Wi-Fi. And I can change the tempo, and everything moves together, and I can, I can stop one device, and the others keep going, so there's, um, I can remove this from the system and everything else just keeps playing. Or I can bring it back in. So it's a great way to get together and with yeah, synth jams and you don't have to worry about patching cables to everybody. Uh, just have a couple of these around the room and uh, you can much more easily uh, all jam together and not have to negotiate uh, who's, who's going to be the master clock for everybody. Every, everyone kind of shares that duty with, yeah. with these devices. And then uh, you were telling me about some of the updates you've made since last year. Oh yes. So uh, since uh, since introducing this last year at NobCon, uh, we've we've added uh, USB uh, class compliant MIDI support. So now it, it now ships with this little adapter that converts uh, micro USB to uh, full size USB uh, port. And devices like the model samples. Uh, have a class compliant MIDI device built in, so you just run a, a USB cable direct in, no other adapters needed. Um, if you have older gear that you want to sync, then uh, a class compliant device like this ESI uh, uh, MIDI interface will, you plug that in, and then you have full size DINs for you know whatever older gear you have. And uh, just well, one other note uh, for sync, uh, also, one of the features that was an early request was a way to sync thin sync. So, you, it, with the, the clock and reset can be configured to, to uh, the reset will go will do a run high, and then with an adapter like this one that I made, uh, you just plug these two cables into here, and then you have thin sync uh, at 24 or 32 ppq that can go to the older gear that needs a, a thin sync uh, uh, interface. So you can uh, bring your 808 to uh, the iOS uh, Ableton Link Jam. <laughs> very cool. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. It's always good to see you.